driver interviews, pit action, industry news. We're bringing you everything that fuels the adrenaline pumping world of dirt track racing. Buckle up now, you're sitting with the slimy bastards. Take it away, Jason. All righty, slimy bastard podcast show. We kind of uh, taking a couple months off here with racing wrapping up, and I'm over here by Emmitsburg, Iowa today for the Chris Krug after party at his uh, world famous race shop here. You would think I'm sitting next to um, what's that big country uh, star right now? Uh, Jelly Roll. Oh, I'm sitting here. Uh, but no, uh, welcome to the show, and uh, thanks for um, uh, coming back on, guys. We got Chris Krug and uh, well, fuck, and Colby. Fett, yeah, no you one, know, he, Yeah, he, everybody wants to hear this fucker's voice. And then Chris <laughs> texts me and I, he goes, "Well, we got Hollywood coming in. He he decided not to go racing this weekend, so it's because I'm such a prominent figure in his life. He just couldn't stand to miss my party. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We took so racing this, off for that. So this reason. is a big party party you do every year. Is that correct? Yeah, every year at the end of races. I think this is our fourth one. Yeah, fourth one we've done. And it's pretty cool. You got the shop set up, um, and you're doing a hog roast and or smoking a hog. Is that what you did? Yeah, um, the Brit flagman Kevin Long. Yeah, we went and uh, we got a pig, took it up to him. He's uh, roasting that up, and shredding some up for pulled from pork Algona and, or Brit. Uh, Brit. Okay. Um, and then uh, he's doing all sorts of stuff that bringing some sides stuff nice. like that. But it's kind of cool because you do these gift baskets and all that. And what do you do? Auction them off. Yeah, my grandma and uh, my great aunt, they donate all their, their time and uh, all the stuff that's in them, and we auction them off, and it's just money that we use to help pay for stuff, and you kind nice. of help pay for the party. Yeah, that's a cool idea, really. I mean, you stop and think, because, I mean, how many baskets have you done up? Um, I think they did six this year, seven. I don't know, something like that. There's quite a few. There's quite a few. Yeah. There's some that have some really good shit in them. One of them's got a lot of liquor in it. <laughs> but there's also, I mean, one. but besides the baskets, I mean, there's even stuff that's welded up. Oh, yeah. You know, that's the creations that my yeah. grandpa made. Yeah, that's yeah. pretty cool stuff. He's a pretty creative guy. Yeah. So where'd you get your talent from? <laughs> oh, I am the <laughs> least creative person that I know. I'm more autistic yeah. than I am artistic. I am so disappointed because I had the perfect gift for you. I was going to bring over here today, and I fucking forgot it on top of my cooler. And uh, I was so looking forward to it because I would have loved to see Kobe's reaction when I gave it to you. I mean, is this priceless? The, the whole, the, yeah. Well, I'm, I'm going to send it to you in the mail. Actually, you know what I should do? I should send it to Snap On. So you have to open it there at Snap On. <laughs> That'd be awesome. That's what I should do. Speaking of which, did you guys ever get a snap on sponsorship after everything that we talked about? Fuck no. Did no. they ever say anything to you? No. I I uh, ended up buying an icon toolbox from Harbor Freight instead. So that tells you what I uh how sponsorship talks there. Yeah, no, we didn't get shit. No. So uh what's what's on the radar here? You're, you're done for the year, right, Chris? Yeah, I've been done since Super Nationals. <laughs> Now it's deer and beer season. Yeah. And, Kobe, you, you've been racing a little bit here and there, mm -hmm. some weekly specials and all that. But what's next for you? I was going to take it off, but then uh, start tearing down. But I think next week we're going to try to go to Park Jeff because uh, they have a $1,200 to win show for us. And okay. I like those guys out there. Just want to support it. Yeah. That Sioux City area, they got some hella good promoters out there. So yeah. kind of – Jealous about them out there. Because you and Alec went out. Yeah, you guys were racing together a little bit last weekend, right? Yeah, Interstate Speedway up with Chase and Shelby Elves. Yep. Yeah. Is he going to be here tonight? Who? Alec. Uh, no, I don't think so. I'm not what sure. What's wrong with him? You know, I've... he gets married. Next thing you know, he's tied up in the fucking bedroom. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> so you're going to Park Jeff. Probably, yeah. Yeah. And uh, that's 1200 to win. Yep. And how many laps is it? I don't know how many well, laps. Well, it's about, it's what, like $3,800 less to win and hopefully one less lap than it was earlier this year. Oh, my God. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I'm, I'm I know what he's talking about. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, last time we went to Park Jeff, I, yeah, everything except the last corner. But You know, yeah. uh, down in Boone, it wasn't the outcome you guys were looking for, mm -hmm. but um, 
it was a uh, it was a good race. Mm-hmm. You guys uh, like a sport mod class. That was a. I mean, it went. I'm pretty sure there was what maybe one or two cautions, and that's it. Yeah, I I think sport mods wrecked the less shit out of yeah. every class there. I mean, mods didn't too bad, but they that, were putting each other in the wall there and stuff. That like, mod race, that, uh, that's a, it's kind of a bad deal for me. Yeah, I, I got put in the middle of some shit. And, yeah, there's um, a lot of stuff going on there. I uh, but. They did it right. That there's a lot of emotions in that that Saturday's races. Mm-hmm. Uh, you look at Jeremy Mills and all that. I mean, that shit blew up. It was like fucking WWF down there. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. The mod race was pretty good, but yeah. the fight behind the grandstands was the fucking I never highlight. Saw that. Of the that, night. Was, that was so, awesome. I walked up at the perfect time. So was that after the the last uh, last chance qualifiers, or was that no, was that, that was uh, after the big show? That was okay, right for so the engine was, auction. Okay, yeah, because that was uh, with uh, what Dylan Thornton threw down, wasn't it? Dylan Thornton and uh, Colin Hibden and uh, Frando. Was it, is it Gray Frando? Gray Frando. Gray Frando. Yep. That was yep. all something going on. Th- I actually didn't even see what happened. I had to watch the replay because I was watching it. With, I think that was a lot. Murdy threw that gnarly slider. Yeah. 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 So I actually didn't even see what happened, but I walked up and saw the fight. That was a pretty good show. Well, um, Dylan got taken out. I mean, oh, yeah. And he was coming. Yep. And so is uh, Murdy. Yep. Them guys were fucking good. Those kids are, those both those kids are good. And, uh, but anyway, and then he got taken out. Then he just come out of the fucking <laughs> I was, I was actually, I got lucky enough. I was um, standing in the infield. And you saw all that? Yeah. Like, I got um, um, Cody Laney's mom mm-hmm. said, come with us down into the infield. And I was like, oh, fuck yeah. I, yeah. I mean, who's, who's not going to pass that up? Mm-hmm. So I was down there with all the, uh, Cody Laney's family and all that, and we were watching all this, and it's I. You don't realize how small that track is until you actually get down oh, yeah. in there. The corners are very when short. Yeah. Oh and, my gosh. And when you're up in the stands, it doesn't look like mm-hmm. it looks like a big track, but when you're down in that infield, it's a whole different. It, it was actually a, probably one of the best experiences I've had of watching a race. Because the banking is actually pretty high yeah, too. It's you can see everything. Yeah. But um, when he got taken out and then he's sitting in that infield and all at once you hear him fired up that fucking car and you're like i thought he's gonna yep. leave the track oh yeah and then he goes out and just <laughs> he, that was I straight wonder, out of, I, i'm curious to know if he ever got fucking fined for that i'm not sure but that was straight out of bowman gray he's yeah oh yeah up. yeah it's most definitely 100 percent. yeah but yeah, uh, yeah exactly but and he took funny, care of it i mean that, that's funny that you say that because um when i had um what the fuck's his name um poppy we were oh, talking Pappy. yeah Pappy, Pappy. sorry yep. um we were talking i couldn't remember that track's name and i and that's that yeah Bone gray yeah Stadium yeah they received all that shit, shit all yeah. the time they're pretty cool to yeah. watch <laughs> and they actually had a reality tv series <laughs> oh really you didn't know that uh-uh. no yeah the, uh, TV. Like, like 10 or 15 years ago they actually had a reality tv series of that track <laughs> and they had different the ra- different race teams that they would st- uh follow their shop and all that is actually a pretty cool little series of so mm-hmm. i'm sure you'd still watch it just Probably. pull it up oh. interesting there's yeah i've i've seen some weird shit happen there this year where like i tried to steal the the rig gator to go try to hit the other car on the track with the gator because his car was too destroyed. It's like he tried to steal the track gator. It's I like, didn't know that. Yeah, I saw something on Facebook that somebody said that like the promoters of the place like they they encourage the they, fighting well, I'm sure and the they do because yeah. it, it, it gains that much more. Uh, Crowds are huge. Like when, I see, when I've seen it on the internet, it looks like the place is just packed. Yeah, yeah. Like it, it's packed. if you look, uh, so like what I do, you know, I pay to uh, have some of the. Um, um, what do you want to say? See what my numbers are and all that, and my podcast and all that. Mm-hmm. But if you look, if you've seen the um, clicks just from the, what happened with Jeremy Mills and in the infield after his race, pretty it crazy. Was, yeah, it's insane. Is that but, the whole deal with him and Roth? And Roth, yeah, yeah. Yep. yeah. That was, he, <laughs> Jeremy's another guy. He takes care of it on the point. Yeah. Like, oh, he, 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 he ain't, he ain't, he ain't waiting around. He's he, gonna go he, get it figured out real yeah, quick. Yeah. Yep. You, you, you know where you're scanned with Jeremy Mills yep. pretty quick. Of yeah, he get he did. I mean, he did get screwed over in that bad. And right he when did. we saw I mean, we watched I, that race, right. right when he got hit, I was like, oh, this ain't gonna be good. <laughs> this ain't not gonna be. Good. I was standing next to Gary, oh, the guy who owns, owns half his car yep. and that, and he turned to me and he goes. 
Oh, this is going to be educational. Yeah, <laughs> <So>. <laughs> that's a good way to put it. <laughs> educational. But oh, yeah. no, it is, it is fun. Now, Boone was a ball. I had a ball minus that last race, but um, the modifieds. But yep. no, I had a great time down in Boone and just seeing everybody and all that. Is with that in mind, uh, what what's next? What you, Chris, you and I talked a little bit about this of um, next year. You're kind of not going aggressively going to every track or like local tracks every every week you're going to kind of spread it around right yeah i'm i'm not going to race for a championship or anything um i'm just going to go out and have fun and I, di I didn't have a ton of fun this year i had fun i won some races and uh whatnot but i just i got uh i got too hyper focused on beating one specific car and it just kind of kind of made my whole season yeah not, not that much fun and had shitty luck but that's part of it and yeah so yeah, next year I'm gonna go and do what I want, go race where I want, and 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 try to enjoy every night. Right. So what's kind of on your radar? Like, what are you gonna are you gonna travel to any far away tracks or? Um, I don't know. I kind of talked about maybe. Uh, me and my wife kind of talked about getting a small RV to haul my now crowd of kids around, <laughs> and uh, <laughs> if uh, like we kind of talked about that Midwest Madness tour. Yeah. Maybe doing that just because I, I haven't been to every track on that. And uh, it just looks like it'd be something different to do. Yeah. And it's it's kind of like, you, Kobe, you've you mentioned it. It's kind of nice not having to worry about a track championship because oh, sure. you're not at every track. Mm -hmm. or you're not at that track every week. So you kind of spread out what you want to do. You know, I had Jeremy Mills on um, my podcast and he, you know, he was running for track championships, three different tracks. Mm -hmm. And he, you could just tell, I mean, this is a whole demeanor with it takes everybody. It does. Yeah. yeah. And you could see that. And it's kind of nice of like, you say like, um, oh, like Tanner Black and, mm -hmm. and even like you, um, um, Braxton Yeager has been the same way. You could take like Tom Barry Jr., Tim Moore. They just go where they want to go and race. Yeah. Yep. And um, that aspect makes it nice of of um, just choosing you, where you want to go and I, have fun. I think you learn a lot more by hitting up tons of different tracks and racing against tons of different people. Because, right. like, you know, we traveled a ton this year. Like, I even went to Oregon and – met a lot of good people out there and it's just crazy to see what racing's like on different surfaces and dirt and everything when you and, were i don't mean to interrupt when you were here out in oregon did any yeah. of them guys come back here for boone yeah uh ethan's killing ethan killingsworth yeah. came he's a really good kid and got to talk to him a lot out there he's he's super fast in the west coast yeah. so um, did they look you up when you were in Boone and that? Uh, n oh, like if they looked to see where we were at there. Yeah, like yeah, did you guys stopped. hang out and all that? Yeah, of Ethan stopped by a couple times. Yeah. It's it's weird for me in Boone. I don't really do much there. I just come there to race, and I didn't even party much this year. But, yeah. I mean, I'd like to. I just got too tired at the right. end. But, you know, you know for, for the most part, the shows were ended pretty early, though, yeah. too, each night, which was nice, too. It helped with good weather, I think. Yeah, yeah was, for sure. Yeah. The tracks um, were great and got done early and yeah. so. But it, it, I had a ball. I, it is a good time mm -hmm. of, and uh, nice seeing everybody. I I really want to. I'm curious to see what the salute to veterans tour is going to be like this next year because every year that's gone bigger and bigger. Oh god, uh -huh. yeah. Um, I know Braxton. Uh, I've talked to Braxton quite a bit. He he definitely. I think him and Bryson are both going to come back and do it again this year. Definite must. Um, yeah. Um, but I, it'd be kind of cool if Britt would be in on that. I think so too. Yep. I think they, they should really look at that, just adding that in. Cause you're right there mm -hmm. and they yep. did that on a Tuesday. You know, they ran that, wasn't the fair going on then? Uh, the, is it the hobo days? They do some, they do, yeah, it's they either do the something. hobo days or the fair, but something I think like it'd be that. kind of, it'd, it'd be it just makes sense to add that in. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? It's on and, Friday and they have their off day on Friday. Right. So. right. But um, who's on your guys' radar of, like, up and coming that you're uh, excited to see you watch race and that? Mike Smith, move the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> He's excited to watch Mike. I, I would be super excited to watch Mike in anything but a hobby stock. <laughs> Why is that? Ah, uh, he's a nice kid, but fuck, I hate racing him. <laughs> I hate seeing the back of his car. <laughs> does every week then. A lot. <laughs> yeah, he drove right on by everybody in Boone all week. And it's like, 
the poor guys around this area just have to deal with him every single week and he's yeah. so fast you know and you know but but yeah mike i i everybody learned I, in boone what these guys deal with yeah, every week i right. like mike he's a good kid he races clean yeah, he really yeah, does sure. yeah. um but yeah it'd be cool to see him moving on <laughs> what about you colby who are you uh who am I watching for? Um, well, I shouldn't say like watching, but who's one that's like impressed you of like that's. Well, we got a lot of good local kids that work really hard. They just, yeah. they, they've been trying to learn setups and stuff like Charlie Stevens and Tashney and Justin Raymond. All those guys are really good drivers and right. they work on their stuff. But um, I know Charlie's selling his car and he's hopefully maybe moving to a good car so that kind of makes me nervous because i know he can drive a car very well and like that gage helgenberg kid yeah. too down south he's only 14 and he's kicking everybody's ass yeah. you know i mean running top four every night in a sport mod is not hard not right. not easy i mean but he does it you know I, I i i said this on our podcast before of all the racing that i watched this last year the sport mods were just Oh my gosh! The sport every, mods put on a damn good show. A yeah, lot of nights. every every Brit, week, Brit especially yeah. like Brit. Yeah. The sport mods are usually the race of the night. Yeah, yeah. and well, uh, it well yeah well first and foremost you have a pack field. Yeah, yeah. I mean, we your, have the, your car counts are what probably 15, 16 sixteen cars. You guys had to average over fifteen in Brit. Yeah, yeah no, more. Than yeah. That. yeah, yeah. We and then small nights are usually fifteen, sixteen nights, and we do have a lot of cars in that but, class. Yeah, well, well that, that's what makes it nice. Yeah. Because, I mean, look at Algona and in, uh, in the Modifieds. I mean, there's one night, what, there's only five or six? Four. There was four one night. Yeah. That, the last I mean, night that's I just, watched. But. And I really, I really, really hope IMCA changes something. Yeah, there. same they, here. We they, were, you know, last time we talked, I was talking about going right. to mod stuff. And I'm but, disappointed. But, yeah, we were talking <laughs> about it so much, and then we looked into it. You know, we know a few guys that went through two to three engines. They're ten grand a piece, right. and our engine guy Troy can put ours together way way cheaper than that. So, right. and he can fix them right for maybe a thousand on a dollar. Yeah, of, for yeah. sure. Instead of buying three ten thousand dollar engines, you're thirty k in. So with, with your crap with your chassis that you have, because you're a house driver, right? Yeah. Um, well, yeah, but, essentially, but, yeah. The Kelly doesn't own the car. It's other guys that put money into uh -huh. it to have me drive it, but to help out the program. Right. He's like a trust fund baby. <laughs> trust fund baby. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but I mean, are you getting a new car then this year then? Or I, it's plans are up in the air. <laughs> <laughs> so we got our checkered play guy here. Yeah. So. Chris's grandpa, he's <laughs> got crazy outfits. You see you see a guy in white white pants or checkered pants. Yeah. Things now are I know where you get it from. He's an entertaining guy. Yeah. 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 He always makes trips fun. <laughs> I bet he does. But but, uh, but yeah, no, I mean we you know, we were going to sell our car, sport mod, and we're talking about moving classes and stuff, but we're kind of, everything we'd say, it changes. Again, we're just kind of waiting for rules to come out before we make our decision. When do, when do they do that? Uh, Usually after the national banquet. Yeah, November for, or whatever. Yeah, I don't remember November, what November, December, somewhere yeah. in there, I think. Yeah. Do you, guys go, do you guys ever go to that? I did one time. It's a... Mm crazy deal out there it's because yeah, they do that in omaha don't they yeah. yeah and it's it's uh it's the the venue and everything is so crazy you walk in it's so fancy like you got everything set up and my first year year first year i went there i was that was about a, two months after i battled for my first super nationals win that i was getting uh -huh. and i battled with brian f camp and was making the pass on him and i hit the wall and then ended up falling back to third well, the table I sat at had Brian F. Camp's car in the center of it <laughs> when I was at the <laughs> National Banquet. So I was like, I have to look at this damn thing. Like, everybody feels sad about it and yeah. stuff. And then I pissed one away last year, too. And then Alec this year. He, I felt bad. Dude, I thought he was going to win it. I was jumping him down. He, like, baby brother's going to win it. it. He yeah. had it right there. You know, he, that sucks. I told him, I was like, the coolest thing is, is that him and I have both battled for quite a few super nats wins at this point and we just we, i can't i don't have that track figured out i still figure it out every time i go but the fact is that we're usually in front of it and that's what more can you ask for right and he's got many more years to try it too so yeah 
Yeah, but that sucked. Yeah. <laughs> I was watching he, that. He almost had it. Like, he, if he wouldn't have gone up as high as he did. Yeah, when, he didn't when need to. moved off the top, I was like, holy shit, he's going to get him. Yeah, he yeah. didn't even need him. to. Alec was way faster. Yeah, right. Like, he, Alec was going. And, I thought for sure he was going to win. Yeah. I really did. Yeah. He didn't even need to try that hard, really. I mean, essentially, he just yep. gave it away. But, you know. He shit the bed. Yeah. So, are you guys uh, going to change any of your rap styles this for this next year? Oh maybe i kind of like to keep the similar look usually have yellow on it and stuff and <laughs> I, I have no idea what i'm doing for next year it, i think you should have your wife design it she did two years ago yeah oh yeah she designed the car that we took to marshalltown and got to go 88 feet in and wadded it up <laughs> <laughs> yeah I, I rode in that truck it was like what three hour drive for me to watch him st- <laughs> not even start the race. Yeah, not even. I was start so the mad. Heat race. It's like cool. I'm gonna go watch help Chris and stuff in Mar- Marshalltown. I haven't raced yet this year. It's gonna be a great season. Wad it up. Not even coming to the checker or f- the start line. Yeah, yeah, yeah. To the start. He didn't even make the start line. It's like he uh, did. He did? No. The, like the, no, we took off. And, we took, took off, off and and the and guy the, behind him just. The guy, this guy next to me, like oh. my back end kicked out just a little bit, and his did, and he, I think he was a rookie, and he just kept that fucker pinned <laughs> and got into my right rear and never lifted. I, I, it was so, it was like slow mo. I just oh, let yeah. go of the wheel. I'm like, this is gonna be fucking expensive. Yeah, that sucked. <laughs> so you got out down there, and then there's nothing even going on. I'm, yeah, it's like, you know, there's a hell of a Mexican restaurant down there. It's <laughs> fucking phenomenal. Really? What's yeah, it? it's well, probably one of the hands down, hands down, probably one of the best Mexican restaurants I've ever eaten. What's that called? It's in. Uh, I want to say it's in the uh, Best Western Motel. I can't. Oh, it's in. Oh, we've eaten at that. That place is killer. It um, is it. Yeah, yeah I've never uh, there I went there with uh, 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 Trip Gaylord and um and them guys. Oh, I met. And, I, and, Got to talk to him quite yeah. a bit. He's a cool guy, too. Yeah, you guys pitted next to yeah. him. I, I t- sent him a message. I said, kick Kobe in the fucking nuts. <laughs> yeah. <for> him, <laughs> yeah, he said something <laughs> like that. But, man, his, I don't know his girlfriend's name or whatever, his wife yeah. or whatever. Yeah, but she's girlfriend. She but works she, hard. Yeah, well, yeah. She's like, she, she could go to any she, pit and fucking. Like, yeah, mm-hmm. she she maintained his whole car for him, like yeah. tire pressures. And, oh, yeah. I mean, she was doing a lot more. And it's like, he was like, yeah. So uh, I, I, I gave him the nickname Trippy Dippy, <laughs> and uh, anyway, he's a good kid. I I love being around him, and, mm-hmm. and I've known him just obviously from racing around with uh, Braxton, and uh, and then obviously I think don't quote me on this, but I know uh, Bill helps him out quite a bit, mm-hmm. who helps Tanner Black out a lot, and so that's that connection. Did Trip Gaylord move to Iowa? Yeah. He, did. I thought, he actually, I thought I'd seen something like that on he's, Facebook. He's uh, working for uh, uh, Vanderbilt. Oh, no shit. Yeah. Wow, that'll be fast. Yeah. yeah. Well, that, <laughs> Dude, and, Vanderbilt has, Bill cars are so fast. Yeah. yeah. And that's where, um, obviously, Braxton and uh, Bryson have their cars. Mm-hmm. And then uh, Trip has their car. And then I think, don't quote me on this, uh, I think Justin actually s- is selling his um um, the Velvis car and then going to a Vanderbilt car. But I, there's been where he's been going back and forth between a, a, a new mm-hmm. to Velvis or going to Vanderbilt. So, yeah, you know, it makes sense. Like, yeah. uh, I, like I told Braxton, if if he went to Vanderbilt, I'd see why because all three cars, I mean, you got your different same. setups, but mm-hmm. at least you got the same three, mm-hmm. you know what I mean? Of, but nothing against what uh, zane's doing because he's been fast in zane's car too so zane's fast as fuck too though yeah Uh, yep they're all i think it's just because zane seems like he has absolutely zero fear like Mm -hmm. none at all like he'll he'll go wad that fucking thing up yeah he don't don't get two fucks yeah and he's a funny guy like i i had him on my podcast it's kind of a short minute deal i'd really love to have him back on of after a race instead of before but Oh, see what he's got to say. About yeah, about he parked by me in Algona one of the nights he was there, and I went over and I told him, I said, "Dude, I got a sweet deal for you." And he's like, "What's that?" I was like, "Listen, I'll let you drive that sweet fucking hobby stock <laughs> if you let me drive this stock car." And he looked me up and down. He goes, "If you can fit in it, you can drive it. <laughs> no chance. No chance." Oh, yeah. <laughs> and he probably laughed like hell. When oh you yeah, said it too, didn't he? Yeah, that, yeah. Him and his old man, they were a good time. Yeah. <laughs> 
So Ryan Cartel out in Vegas actually won one of his cars somehow, or he had some type of a drawing or something. Oh, yeah, the waffle. And yep. um, and anyway, Ryan is hoping to get it by Vegas. He's not going to race in Vegas. But I was really – I really wanted to go to Vegas this year just to go, but I don't – I think I'm going to maybe do Arizona or – the coca pod deal or yeah I, that'd be cool to go to mm -hmm. i've always wanted to just one of the weekends or that snap on vacation time though huh right yeah do they give you <laughs> that big time off or like did, so like a oh boy work, wait wait <laughs> no no so let me finish on this because yeah. where i work they used to do during christmas like that week between christmas and new year's it was shut down right but you could go in and clean or you just take the week off without pay. Well, you take the week off without pay to spend time with your family. And yeah, it's Christmas time, sure. so why not? But then, you know, the ones that would want to get paid or whatever would come in and clean. Do they do that kind of thing where you guys work? Or, they don't do no. shutdowns no more. Yeah, they got rid of it. Yeah. Uh, waste, That's like waste they, did our, they, did, they did that with us, too. Yeah, they got you know, rid of it. I think we have to go in for week. two days in the middle of the week between yeah. – this yeah, year, this I year think we, we have to go on Tuesday. Yeah, we get Tuesday, done with, Wednesday, or Wednesday, Thursday. Yeah, we get done with Christmas, come in, go to work, come back home. You, you know, uh, Chris sent me a Snapchat of locking you into some fucking cage or some damn thing. Of what, what? was that? No, or maybe was it, he locked you in a cage. Oh yeah, he locked me inside the cage in <laughs> a machine. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It, it, we, we don't get to work together very often. And that's that's probably because of stupid <laughs> shit like that. But yeah, he locked the inside Where's Chris the cage. At? He's machine. locked in the fucking cage. <laughs> and you can't get out from you inside can't. of that fucking thing. Like, he has to physically come unscrew the latch. Yeah. Yep. So how did you get out? I just fuck I, it. Was, I sat down and started looking at TikTok, man. And I was then like, your supervisor came out, and then you, did you get another write up or no? Another no. one? Yeah, he does get <laughs> tend to get wrote up every now and then. So, but no, I was a good human being, like I usually am, and I let him back out because right he wanted yeah. to go smell the fresh air and stuff. Right, so. right, yeah. <laughs> so, uh, what's uh, what's uh, have you guys talked about? Like I know I'd asked you, Chris, but Kobe, have you asked or, or I shouldn't say asked, but have you guys talked about? what farthest race you're going to go to next year? Uh, it just depends what comes up. Really. Are you going to do another surprise? I guess where we are, where's uh, Lado? where's Kobe it, this week? See, I didn't even know I was doing that. Honestly. Right. That's what I mean. Is yeah. that, are you going to do something That was a like joke. That? You know, I don't know if I said it on here before, but that was a right. joke. Right. I said it to farmer and Justin and I was like, Hey yeah, God, maybe we should go out there. And they're like, yep, got time off. Let's go. I was like, Oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I guess I'm calling in the work. We're going. You know, you and I talked. Uh, you should go out to Rock Springs. What? Oh, yeah. Yep. That now, would be fun. Like, I'd love to go back out there for the Memorial Day weekend. It's just a great – because it's before everything happens here in Iowa. Yeah. But that track, uh, you'd love that track because it's so uh, – that banking tie, it's yep. fast. If they um, – they do offer a special or something because it does cost a lot to go out there nowadays. I think, uh, if I remember right, I want to say it's like a thousand to win. Mm -hmm. and, yeah, but I'm not for sure. You know that that obviously that may yeah. change, but yeah. Um, I mean, it's, it cost me about two thousand this year to go out to Oregon and back. Right, and we weren't banking on winning, obviously, because right. we don't know how good people are out there and stuff. I mean, there's a lot of good people out there, but. I was terrible there until the second day and All right. finally figured it out. So but. this is a two day deal. It's like a Friday, Saturday. So then you drive home on Sunday, you still got Monday. Yeah. And that works out perfect. Though. Yeah. But um like it's a it's a good fast track and everyone's so fun to be around out there. Yep. Um, obviously that's where Brax and all them race, that's their home track and that. Mm -hmm. But there's there's some good uh, sport mod drivers out there. Well, Slade Pitt, yeah, all them Slade guys. Pitt, that, yep. All them guys are out there. But um, uh, the Matt Sanders. I mean, he's more more from our Oregon area. But yeah. the Sanders family, they're all very fast. I think they even got some from Colorado to come up there too. That really, race up there because you're only what a couple hours, I think, from Colorado. Isn't that have. Hunter Smith? Is it, he won the sport mod rookie of the year. Yeah, he's, he's from like Colorado. Colorado. Yeah. Yeah, he's, so he's fast too. Yeah. yeah, he's pretty quick. Yeah, but yeah. see, that's the cool thing is tracks. Like, it's easy to go out west because the tracks all look fun to me. Like, right. I, you know, you're going out there, it's smooth and usually multi lane and passing because it's slick. Right. You know, you, 
You need to have a slick track to have passing. Like, yeah, let's them, be honest. Them high dollar track traction shocks. Yeah, you know, we need to, <laughs> we need to get rid of them eight thousand dollar shocks. Could, they could run sealed shocks. They could run eighty dollar shocks, and I still think we would have a lot of fun. Like, did you ever sell your shocks yet, Chris? Yeah, I did actually. I, I sold them a week ago. I seen you had them for sale. Well, yeah, this wasn't my style. Yeah, I prefer to look good while I suck. <laughs> You got a new boat anchor ready for next year. <laughs> I haven't even thought about next year, honestly. Like, and in, in the fall, so I much. take a couple weeks off and I don't do shit out here. I just hang out, and yeah. especially this year, it's been nice because I've had help her so much with the kids. Right, and then uh, I hunt a lot in the fall, and then after, usually after gun season in Iowa, then I start getting more serious about racing. But I've already been on the horn with a couple sponsors and things like that. Got to get a motor bought, so yeah. So. um other than that, it is a fun year. I had a ball with you guys, and thanks, thanks for um, coming on as much as you guys have, and, and um, getting to know, you know, oh, yeah. getting to know you guys a little bit better, and and um, yeah, I, I had a great time this year of just going. And Maverick still talks about you, and mm-hmm. oh, you're gonna go see the guy that gave me a Hot Wheel. Yep, yep, that's pretty um, cool. How he is? He, uh, you'd be surprised. That's what. That's the thing is, you'd be surprised on how many times kids remember that kind of stuff you know what i mean yeah i remember it dude. i only get to sign like two or three autographs a year i remember it every time <laughs> yeah. i signed three in one night this year yeah it's fucking it's killer. Killer this podcast isn't it it it's probably getting, it's was your name out no, there no i think they're looking for somebody more popular and they're like yeah. oh there's a fucking guy you know trip there. gaylord gave me actually the, <laughs> the biggest compliment on that he goes it's pretty cool that you brought on hobby stock drivers because they don't get a lot of attention and I've had you and um um what's his name? Um god damn it. You went to school with him from up here, Nicholas Adams. Oh Speedy Adams. Yeah, Speedy Adams. I've had you guys on. But it, but I always like I just like talking to people and, and giving everybody kind of an open mic of I could drive a fucking stock car and I'm still this entertaining. Well, <laughs> I'm not saying you could. I'm just saying <laughs> that, that trip gaylord, you know, said that, you know, because yeah. it's true, like how many times have you been interviewed for anything i think this is actually my fourth one the yeah. best part was is his interview after he wins the race is typically the best one of all night <laughs> oh for sure <laughs> but you better have, in front of a microphone I, there's <laughs> no telling what comes out of my mouth but you better have a yeah a, oh sensory <laughs> yeah the, yeah where you have the bleep on oh yeah of, oh i uh, i yeah, I tend to get a little out of hand. <laughs> I get excited when I win. I get that's everybody gets the, fucking Mike so, Smith and Brandon yeah. Nielsen every week. I get excited when I win. Yeah, for sure. But that's what's nice about this. You don't have to worry about any of that. Or you just say what the fuck you yeah. want to say. And you got a time. Yeah, that's sometimes not the best, too, is when I just have too much time to talk. <laughs> <laughs> but with that being said, um, anybody you want to thank and anyone you look forward to working with, you got any new sponsors that you brought on or – um i just have some meetings set up i actually don't have anybody set in stone i hope to get everybody that i had on my car back this year um like i said on the last podcast i'm pretty low budget i don't like to spend a lot of money on racing yeah. so every dollar i get goes right into the car yeah. keeps the thing kind of quick kind of you'll be driving a new cadillac after tonight with all the money you get from the baskets and that's that pretty badass so. to watch <laughs> <laughs> honestly like Chris, yeah, he's he's actually I hate to give him some props because I don't like to help him out every now and then, but Why? I think Chris is like one of the guys in our area that could drive Anything. very well in a car that has weight jacks. Yeah. Because he I likes could to dial myself right the fuck out of the ballpark every <laughs> yeah. night if I have yeah. weight jacks. <laughs> yep. But it would be a blast to watch him in something good. At least with the eight inch tire to yeah. start out. But well, we're gonna do some big tire racing this year. <laughs> go kart, sorry. Go kart racing. No. We're, I, we're gonna go race USRA a little bit. Yeah. I had too much fun up at Fairmont. I make fun of the big tire guys, but Fairmont was awesome this year. Hobby sock and so, big tires. Did, did you do any of that? Like uh how much of that did you do this year? Just the one night Just after I night. or before I talked to you. I actually had a ton of fun. It was probably one of the best tracks I raced on this year was Fairmont, really? actually. Really? Like I love going up there because a hobby stock on a half mile is so much fun. Do they do that in uh, Mason? What's that? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. they're USRA. Yep. Right. I know they are, but I mean do they run a hobby stock yeah. up there? Of, yeah. yeah. Um we talked about going, just never made it over there. And is then it after pretty I pretty much my the engine. same rules yeah. as IMCA of 
Yeah, They're pretty class, much. Yeah. They get a little more compression in their open motors. They don't have the even shock rules like we have, but then mm -hmm. they're on the big tires. Okay. I got to kind of be careful in some of this. Yeah. Well, no. <laughs> it, yeah. But no, it's it's the close to the same stuff for them. Yeah. Our stuff's com kind of completely different. Shut up. You won 10 fucking grand <laughs> against B mods. Because of like. He's <laughs> running for a national title in bull sanctions next oh year. <laughs> Write it down. <laughs> no, I am not. Write it down. <laughs> We're going to go through a lot of fucking rivets changing the sales. <laughs> Jesus <laughs> Christ. <laughs> Write it down. <laughs> I need another one of these. <laughs> Are you going to do any of that kind of stuff this year, Kobe? Uh, we're going to we're going to do the same traveling deal. I think nowadays it's worth going to travel to big shows, and yeah. I think it's more challenging to race new people, new tracks, and stuff. And sure. I think I think it's it's a lot more fun for us. So I, I will say this: that uh, USMTS race in Mason City was fucking insane that night. Oh of man. USMTS mods are fucking badass. Yeah. Oh, there's I mean, just it, no way around it. Open mods are so cool. Yeah. Like, yeah, I, for I, sure. don't, I hate watching IMCA modifieds I, anywhere other than Boone. Yeah, yeah. I don't need Boone, yeah, IMCA cars put on a good show, but man, I don't. I agree with Chris. It's That's why I'm saying they got to yeah. change it. They do. Because as being a fan aspect of it, I really, really wish they would change something. I mean, their... is it sound weird that an open car or crate car and sport mods has just about the same horsepower? Right as the top mod class i don't no. know i guess it's to keep it cheaper but how cheap is a ten thousand dollar 400 horsepower engine but twice they, a year you would think that twice a year twice a year when they blow up after 20 nights yeah but you think imca would be wanting to get on and because they got the fan they got the drive you know what i mean they got i do like how they run most things i like right. our class a lot and i like how they've done stock cars like IMCA does it right too, in my opinion right. too. Like but. with yeah, we're always at like with the hobbies and the sport mods, the crate and the open are they're pretty even. Yeah. Um, I think I think in the sport mods, I think the open motor guys are a little quicker, but there's been some crate people that are just as fast, and then the stock cars, you know, they're just they're just badass. But yeah. Yeah. the for mods sure. for being IMCA's premier, like come on, let's get some open motors, let's get some right. horsepower, and then pigs. Yeah, if that's if that's going to be your premier showcase, I mean, you, they got to change something with it. Well, you saw car counts this year, right? Like stock cars, obviously being right. stock car, higher, now. right? Stock car and and uh, sport mods. Sport mod. Well, we you give us a five thousand dollars show, you get sixty, seventy to show up. And you can't say the same about the other one. Right. But if there was 5,000 to win for the hobby socks, there'd be 150 of them and they'd fucking destroy <laughs> each other. <laughs> I'd have to take both be, my cars. You, you would need a king hat, wouldn't you? Just right there at the helm. Right. <laughs> Put that bush light hat on you and you know, sunglasses you're wearing right now. Dude, that like bush said, light you, hat's you, sweet. You think we're sitting next to Jelly Roll right, right. now. Right. There's sunglasses inside a dark room. That's, yeah, pretty cool. I, so, I'd say that's cool. With that bush light hat, I saw it when we were walking around the mall in Dwayne. I told the Harley, I was like, I'm not leaving without that hat. She's like, Are you serious? I'm like, no. So we went into the buckle and they didn't have any more other than that one. And the lady's like, Ah, oh, we don't have any more. I'm like, No, there's one in the window. She's like, Uh, maybe. I'm like, No, there's no maybe. He's like, that bitch is for sale and I'm leaving with it. So they made, like, I don't know, he must have been a new guy or something. They made him crawl up in the front window and get me a hat. Yeah. She was like, You really just made me get this hat for you yeah because they make a commission anyway so why not what the guy that tried to buy it oh yeah some guy tried to buy it for me and boone for 150 bucks oh um, I would have, how much did you pay for it i don't know like 50 oh there you go no i didn't there's sell it two, there's two new tires for you and uh, yeah <laughs> i was like no it's not for sale i got a lot of shit for sale but yeah. not this hat you could always replace that you go to buckle.com buy a new one and have it shipped to you the next day he probably could. What the hell? But it's a story behind See, it this, that makes it. This guy, he he thinks about numbers. He's got it all figured out. <laughs> this is Come why. On. This is why you're getting boggled up in Marshalltown before you even get to cross the finish line. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you're not thinking numbers, Chris. <laughs> I haven't been back down there since. No, but it's hurting you. You want to go? Ah, uh, yeah, I did. Yeah, I wanted to go to to a lot of the fall specials and stuff this year, and then I blew my engine. Yeah, Marshalltown was fun. Like I've I've seen you down there a couple times this mm -hmm. year, and, and minus the rainstorm, that one. I yeah. don't think you were there that that no. night, but you made it that next weekend because yeah. that's when I was there again. That was, yeah. But, uh, there's some yeah. good racing there. That was my 
first spin out of the year there at that track, so I had a lot of fun. Do you remember when you first got your Skyrocket and you went to Marshalltown? Oh, boy. My very first nut lap in a Skyrocket car. Yeah, I went in the corner one and lost it. Like, that day at work when he was talking about it, he was talking mad shit, and I was like, you're going to loop it first fucking corner. First corner, and you're going to get just smoked by Janae Gustin. And I did. <laughs> <laughs> and we, me and my wife were watching the couch and he spun out. And I jumped off my couch, jumped up down like I told him. So yeah. that was funny because I got absolutely yelled at on the receiver for not taking my spot back. And I was like, I don't want my spot back. I suck. Yeah. <laughs> you know, and this, obviously the cars came a long way since then. But I mean, I felt like so little after that because I, I spun out and then I collected Janae Gustin. And I was like, I know she was probably going for the win in that race. So yeah. it's like, I just felt so little. <laughs> What's your <laughs> best finish down there? My best? At Marshall. I think it's like fourth. Oh, okay. I've only been Alec there a couple won. times. <laughs> Do you like that track? <laughs> See what he did there? What did he, no, what did you say? You missed that. Alec, Alec has won. Yeah, he's that. like, what's your yeah, best Alec finish? Won. Yeah, Alec won. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. That was that night, actually. I think I sucked and spun yeah. out. And now he's he also won the yeah, Harris he, Clash. Yeah, I know. He has. He's, yeah, he did win that one too. He damn near won Boone. I think I put myself in the wall that night trying for you i don't did. Even, and i don't even know why i had to do it i just hey, i will say though you guys both you guys race each other clean and it's fun watching you two though oh yeah we I, drive I, each other hard though yeah <laughs> and i i love watching both of your race mm -hmm. just because i know it's it's gonna be a good it's kind of funny because we did that race in brit you know went back and forth i was like it's just like how we do an i racing because we did i racing a few years ago and it was literally just like that slider on slider on slider. Yeah. And, but it's, yeah, he's definitely not the slow one any, you know, ever anymore. He's, he's good. only getting better. Oh, for sure. Now he's I'm married. On my downhill. That's, that's now he's got open road, you know? Right. Yeah. And I'm on my downhill slide cause I'm getting old. So <laughs> fender cars, bud, <laughs> fender cars, <laughs> time, time to move, move down. <laughs> so would it, move up to a horn. Is there, is there still a chance that you're going to be going to a uh, modified then or, uh, rule permitting. Okay. Yep. And they're, if they, if they let change the rule package in that for the engine stuff then yeah we definitely think about it because we were looking forward to it but just yeah not not for us right now sure is does it who makes that call is that mike or is that kind of a group all of deal? us okay. all of, yeah all of us because i i agree with them you know obviously so i give my opinion but <laughs> yeah. he doesn't usually ever take it <laughs> do, do you guys like how's that work with being a house car do you guys set up like a meeting where you guys meet face to face like we usually before discuss the season and kind of go over what I mean, yeah how's that how's that look well it's really kind of crazy because they they usually give me a lot of free in on the car really throughout the whole season uh -huh. they'll just suggest some stuff that kelly found out or you know wants to put on the car and stuff but they usually let me do whatever i need and usually like mike and pete alexander have been great so yeah like they just let me do whatever i want usually so but talking about next year, we usually just wait till the rules come out. Then we'll discuss after that. Then you just kind of roll out what's yep. going to be the what uh, looks the most fun for the next year. And right now, sport mods is you know we get the big shows and competitions, so that's kind of where we stay. Sure. Uh, do they do quite a bit with um, with um, Are they going to do more with the USMTS stuff then? Or I'm sure with Kelly. I think Kelly enjoys it a lot more. Yeah. Kelly he's grown up racing open engines his whole life and i think that's where he shines actually is where he could use his foot because he's got a very good footwork in his car sure and i think when you give him horsepower that's where he shines so yeah but yeah it's kind of cool because you got the chisholm boys that oh okay. got it yeah they're it's, smart yeah very smart and, and like i had um um jim yeah jim on my podcast and it's just nothing but racing that's like, all that kid thinks about yeah. all of it yeah it's like he he uh yeah he if he could take in school school like school at home he usually does and gets that done quick so he can go racing more. right he's at the but, shop all the time but i didn't know he worked for uh shy rock uh yeah he, he got, works there a lot yeah Yep. And he said that's where he learns a lot of his stuff. Of, They've been around Kelly his right. whole life, so or pretty much their whole racing career and stuff. Yeah. So, 
but but even his younger brother joe he's gonna be the one that's gonna he's fast yeah <laughs> that kid does not lift either which right. it's easier to teach a driver to go slower than faster you know so that's but what they you take, say. You take them to, I think you're going to see, I think those two are going to be the next big names in USMTS, honestly. 100%. Yeah, because Joe's already been dabbling right. in it. I, and I think you're going to see Dal and Birdie a little mm -hmm. bit more, obviously, with the Harris clan and all that. Yep. And Didn't he, he win his first night in an open mod? Yeah, he won, yeah. He won his heat race. But like, it, but like the week before, didn't he win in Fort Dodge? I mean, yeah. I'm not, yep. I think he did, yeah. yeah. Yep. Yes, yeah, so that's a fucking stud, though. He yeah, is. he's a stud. You know, I never met him before until we got until I had him on with uh, Kyle Brown, and uh, that's who it was. Kyle Brown yeah. and um, and um, um, Justin uh, or not Justin uh, Jer um, Thornton. Thornton. Um, but anyway, um, he's just a cool kid, funny as hell. Mm -hmm. Like he, and he pulled me aside and Boone. He goes man you need to come down to my shop let's do a podcast in my shop i had a ball and we were going to do something in boone but then um this didn't work out with the timing because he'd want to do it after the race and then mm -hmm. with all the stuff going on after the races and everything it just didn't work out so yeah he's, yeah, he's, he's gonna be he's gonna be a uh, force to reckon with oh yeah for sure in any class he races, right for sure and i think he's even gonna do more with uh Obviously with the stock car, but obviously with the USMTS stuff, the way it sounds. So. It's where he probably belongs to in that because I think he, I think the way that that those rule that rule package is showing it shows talent a lot better in my opinion. Yeah, not that IMCA's doesn't because there's Tim Ward. He's obviously at the top and he's very talented. But too, he's but even moving over. He's even moving over right. too. Yeah. yeah, he's got an open car. Yep. Then he passed. Us, didn't he get like the hard charger one night in it? Yeah. Yeah. So that's yeah. pretty good to do when there's fifty of them that show up. And I thought he was going to be here tonight. <sighs> He's just not high profile enough <laughs> to hang out with us. Yeah. He won, he won some fucking race and boom. But yeah. I don't, some. I don't know. Yeah. You know, if Kobe or Alex would have won that, they'd want an appearance fee too. You know. Probably. No, yeah. they'd be fucking be like, "Hey, can you waive the fee so we can show up?" <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Let's not start it till 2024. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. That way we get a couple months to celebrate. So what's uh, what's your dad up to, Kobe? Same thing. He's been working on his car. He's been fixing it and stuff and fixed his car the other day. And he's been taking care of him and my mom have been taking care of my grandma a lot mm. lately. So they've oh. been extremely busy and oh. having to make sure she's good and every time. So he hasn't really had a lot of free time, but, oh. you know, he's he's been chucking. So one of the things I never realized what what he said till after you know we did that podcast with, with us you three? And, yeah and uh he goes you know this is pretty cool doing with all of us three because mm -hmm. it could be passed on to my grandkids and, mm -hmm. and that what that meant a lot to me just because i never realized that you know what i mean yeah. just that recording of that so that was pretty cool yeah but i really 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 hope i'll go and get something figured out yeah same with what <laughs> with what with yeah. where do you want me to begin <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I don't mean to track bash, and that's not what at all what I'm trying to do here. It could be but a really good place. It, yeah. It's like a historic place for racing. It is. And when yep. you see the numbers dwindling every week, something's got to change. And if you got drivers bitching about the track and, and mm -hmm. this and that, something's got to change with something. Yep. So yeah, I, I just agree. really hope that they should go to here. Saturday nights. They could put down the worst racetrack. And I wouldn't say a word about it if it was a Saturday night race. But there still would be. Because Racers guys are going to bitch no matter what. But. Yeah, but guys are going to go to Saturday night. I mean, you got Boone, and then you also got Worthington. Worthington and Park Jeff. Yeah. Park Jeff said Saturday, and they've been putting – that Sioux City area is going to get car Another counts. one on Saturday night is over there by um, Independence. Oh yeah, Independence is uh, guys are really really talking that looks, about that. That looks good at the end of the night when he takes pictures of it. It's yeah. like you know, a driver's going to show up to that, right? So, uh, Murdy's have actually talked really well about that place yeah. and, and of how how far it's come in the last year. Yep. But it just takes it, promoters that Thursday night would be all right if they just get their shit figured out and get stuff. I don't yep. like I said I don't I don't like bashing on a track by any means, but 
for fuck's sake. So if you don't <laughs> have cars coming, something's got to change. Yeah. Otherwise, you're not going to have nothing. I heard a lot from a lot of drivers that showed up there, and it's it's not said on Facebook a lot because a lot of people don't want to, but there's a reason why people don't want to go. Yeah. But Well, I mean, when you got guys even from back west that are coming out here to race and they purposely miss skip. Algona yep. because they know. Yep. That's that's what like, it is something's got to you got to give somewhere so and it sucks for us because that's our home track right i live six miles away from it right and it's only 28 miles for me yeah i skipped it well a couple times i skipped it because of stuff going on with the kids but Mm -hmm. i skipped a couple nights earlier in the season it was fucking tough like it it sucked because thursdays i'm usually all excited want to go racing but i was like i'm not gonna go this week and it, it sucked I watched it at home. Same. I saved the car for Friday and Saturday and worked for me a lot, actually, this you, year. You went up to Worthington quite a bit, though. Yeah. Too. Do you yeah. like that place up there? Yeah, I have I have liked it. I haven't been up there a lot this year, but it's just hasn't worked out for he us. He never would have went if it wasn't for me. <laughs> I spent a week. I spent a week talking him into going, didn't I? Yeah. <laughs> I was did. like, dude, we got to go up there. It's fun. It's a little bull rink. It's all dry yeah. and stuff. I love it. And we've yeah. both had a ton of fun up there in the past yeah. couple of years. I didn't get up there. I went up there once this year. Once, yeah. But years he took past, the- I ran like a half a season there each couple of years. Yeah, he took out the guardrail. He shot it like 40 I, or 50. I went through the fucking guardrail. Yeah. It, it was pretty sweet. I've never seen the post shoot 40 or 50 feet in the air after Holy Chris hits it, but leave it up to Chris to do it. <laughs> you know, there wasn't exactly. room for four wide, but I wasn't fucking lifting. Still not there. And it, it's it's probably not his fault. So, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. it was just racing. I just, I just it was just racing. It's Nick okay. Adams, Nicholas Adams' fault. <laughs> yeah, no, I, that was. I think that was the same year I fucking destroyed the wall in Marshalltown. Yeah, it was. It was. Yeah, that was a few weeks later. <laughs> Maybe I hit a, a lot sign. of shit. And actually, the best part about it, that's still the black car. Yeah. Still the old Are you going to race that next year? Oh, yeah. For sure. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> He's going back to the old old black beast. Uh, yep. New setup and all that in it. Uh, not yeah, really not new. Really. Just get stupid with the setup. Like, yeah. the first night I won this year, I said to Cole, I'm like, wouldn't it be fucking dumb if we did this? Cole was like, at this point, what are you out? All right, let's try it. <laughs> we won. We fucking won. Yep. Pass Mike Smith and Brandon Nielsen on top last lap. Yeah, he passed those two, which is like, holy shit. <laughs> Did you have your hand out in the air and waving no, at him as you I don't think him? he knew it was happening. <laughs> I think he passed him. He's like, yeah, I never lifted the last three laps. <laughs> never lifted. Looking around like, where yeah. the fuck am I going? Wait, wait, the hell? So I just held that bitch wide open. Just, just tap the brakes a little bit. Something to slow me down. Yeah. <laughs> Wall? wall well guys i appreciate the time yeah. and all that and, and is is a little fun uh fun uh last summer and that and i had a ball going year. around and, and look forward to uh this next year see what happens and that but um best of luck of this coming year and the new stuff that's coming up and and with that being said welcome back on any any time with the show and that and yeah it's always fun yeah. Makes me feel relevant. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, guys, this is Chris Krug. Yeah. So you know, anybody out there that owns a sport monitor or stock car and needs a driver, <clears throat> yeah, let me know. Kobe, if that's available. <laughs> Fuck yeah. <laughs> no. yeah. Thanks, Chris. Thanks, PR manager. PR yeah, man- yeah. Yeah. Chris Krug, PR manager. PR yeah, manager yeah, of Facebook. Kobe Fett. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. When Farmer's not around. Yeah. Well, Chris is good PR uh farmer's setup guy so <laughs> but no I, I i truly i i truly do uh thanks for inviting me here today and and uh look forward to tonight and everything and and um everything you guys have done helping me out getting this thing up and going because it it surprisingly enough it is quite a bit of uh, work involved yeah. with it of um just getting guys on and doing all that but yeah no i appreciate your guys' time and all that so Thanks. Let's go drink some fucking beer. Yeah, sounds like a plan. And uh, until next time, uh, thanks for listening, checking us out on YouTube and Spotify and all the good stuff and TikTok. Until then, toodaloo, buckaroo. Pit Stop Motorsports, Dirt Tracks Racing, largest inventory trackside parts service. We keep racers on the track, located in Rock Springs, Wyoming, and coming to a track near you. Check us out on Facebook at Pit Stop Motorsports. And tell Slade Pitt 
the slimy bastard sent you. Driver interviews, pit action, industry news. We're bringing you everything that fuels the adrenaline pumping world of dirt track racing. Buckle up now, you're sitting with a slimy bastard.